Maybe we can, um, like... Could you tell about, a little bit about how you grew up? Hello, I... I grew up in the in the in the, in the Gulf of Carpentaria, in, in, in northern Australia, mm -hmm. and um, I was brought up in a in a Church of England mission, and I was born in 1958, and I've always um, my father. Grew with my family, and my family grew with my father, and um, all about the cattle industry and horses and cattle and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so you knew how to farm. Or? I know how to ride horse and you know do cattle stuff, and I'm a bad grower. I can't grow things, or maybe the water's all poison, you know. Mm. And um. And um, I wasn't taken away, and there were many um, people from our community in the mission was taken, half caste kids, mm -hmm. away. But my family always had, there's been half caste people. This car from mm -hmm. many years before me. And they weren't taken away neither. They, we all stayed in, with the family and the community. And <coughs> so how come you were not taken? Who stopped it? My mum stopped it. My mum went and told the man, and go, go make your own baby. Mm. I'm keeping this one here. Mm. And my father, he's... He sent money and clothing to me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was known as a little Munanga boy. And Munanga means the white boy. Mm -hmm. So I. Um, grew up with this. Uh, I used to get discriminated on both sides from the whites and the blacks mm -hmm. for a long time and so what did they tell you uh, one uh, and then I told them all to get fuck F yeah fuck off I'm tired of you <laughs> but what would they say to you are you white <laughs> yeah uh, yeah are you a white bastard are you half breed are you you know are you No, not when I'm walking down the street. It's with families and people. If I walk down the street, the white people would, you know, you get discriminated on. All sorts of ways. Not just one particular way. And made people more worse when I did my uh, film in the 70s. And I had a starring role on it. And people generally were just somewhere happy. Not everybody happy what we do. Not everybody um, support what we do, but there are people like us who care what we do, and we do our best, and not need to carry people on your shoulder, you know, like monkeys sitting around, attacking mm. you. you. You pray, and I always forgive people, which is, more stronger than carrying a uh, burden. Sometimes I don't forgive people. Sometimes I hang on for a long time, yeah? Sometimes I want to pay them back. Sometimes I want to, I want to make them suffer too. But I, I can't do that uh, because I had a good stepfather and he taught me culture. And in my culture that I grew up in, I can forgive, because I can sing, dance, and um, enjoy 
uh, my cultural world, yeah? And it's important to have cultural world, mm. cultural campfire. You, all of us, mm. have this cultural world where we need to look after it. We need to tell stories from it. We need to tell. Um, sometimes the saddest stories to pass on. But all the stories sometimes in the massacred world, all this, all the same all around the world. Here, there are a lot of massacred sites. People, hunted my people like uh, kangaroos as they do now. They go shoot kangaroo and yeah. And it's sad. But in my cultural world, he, he teaches me. I don't own the land, I belong to it. And what you kill on the land, we grow again. Yeah? Because the culture is in the ground, the trees, the water. And then sometimes people poison all the water and they poison. So they've been poisoning this country for a long time, ever since English landed on this country and poison had been not spoken of. Poison spirit poisoned the soul, poisoned the, the river and contaminate the ground and now they pollute the sky. Incredible in 200 years. They've done all this to this country. Dug it up, blow it up, sell it to other places. <coughs> and now people are feeling. They're going to feel how much they hurt the river. Because mm. without the water, even the birds will go mad. The animals will go mad. The animals on the land will go stupid because the heat will come and make everybody more mad in the head, thirsty. And no culture, you can't sing for the rain. No culture, you can't dance for the rain. You can't do anything. So you've got to be a thirsty mob of people. Maybe we'll just die out. We don't need atomic bombs. You know, they've already blown. <laughs> but, and, 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 It's like a tree dying, you know? You, you see it, it's beautiful, and then it starts to wither. And the termites, they take up. And sometimes you make beautiful instruments, like the didgeridoo from it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But still the tree dies. And it's like the spirit of man, or people, on the land. It dries up, back to nothing. And you can't buy, um, we don't know what's going to happen with the country, but we don't know how people like us can save the country too. Because the people who are destroying the land and, and the people, they are the ones that have money, or they're the ones that are in governments, and they're the ones who who give each other money to destroy the river. And there's a beautiful river inside a person. And once that poison comes in, it's hard to get rid of that poison. And your spirit becomes like a lost soul because you don't have clean spirit anymore. Have you ever felt <coughs> like that you're lost or your spirit is poisoned? Um, yeah, I, I poison myself from drinking and smoking and partying and everything was good and getting a lot of money from my job. Didn't know what to do with money. <coughs> I still have a problem with it. <laughs> and How does it feel when you're I stopped drinking for 18 years now mm. and I 
I'm getting better and dealing with sugar. So there's poison not only um, in alcohol, there's poison in the in sugar. And all kind of mankind love sugar. We take it in so many ways. And recently I've been understanding sugar and try to have less. But if when you have less, you get mad as well, uh, crazy. But when you leave drinking for the first time, you think you enter the line. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend once said to me, she said, this old man said, I've reached my boundary line. I know my boundaries. I can't go beyond my boundary. Mm -hmm. So therefore I can go home. Okay. Yeah? So I, I, I can't overstep my boundaries. And my cultural boundaries are still solid today. Mm. Strong. But family go mad because of royalties and minings and you know, people go, here's money, and they cut the family out, and other families miss out. And it's sad to see families getting money for royalty from the land, and they're destroying it with the miners and everybody, because they bought each other's soul out from the country. The miner has no feeling about the land than we do, because where they're mine is, 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 is our church and our places. And now they're going to uh, dig up more than they can, you know. It's never ending, it's digging in the country. What should they do then instead? Like... I'm not an economist and I'm not... No, I'm just somebody who knows that once the rivers are poisoned, it's hard to clean. Mm. And what they should do is maybe, if they're that clever and you could send men to the moon and Mars and beyond, and they should do something about how they mine mm. in this country. Mm -hmm. And they've had a lot of experiences. Mm. And I, one time I saw, I was in Mount Tom Price, and me and a train driver who they, who he came to pick up the iron ore to be the last one to see the country. And he said to me, Tom, I'm the last person to see this country leaves. You know, he has to unload it onto a ship. And there's nothing he can do. Stop it from being sent to foreign countries. I don't know why, because um, shouldn't foreign countries have their own mine and things as well? Or too busy people fighting, or what are you making these things for? And there's always, never seems to be enough supply for steel and, and buildings and stuff like that. So minerals are needed to, and it actually makes the economy. But when people like us who don't receive royalties or don't um, get um, um, sh is it a, um, it get respect for for the land as every one of us should like equal to all the family. Um, you, you, you lose contact with people, yeah, mm. and and your families are separated, and there's no no connection to brotherhood in the in the culture. Everybody's fighting, and uh, in hospitable world, and you can't do business and you can't do things. It just yeah. everything becomes a a block, a blockage. And, but if you believe what you're doing, in what you're doing, Sonia, you, you, go, you keep going. No matter how black the cloud, no matter how white the sun, mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't matter. You, you, you just got to keep going. 
through it. Because it, it's actually a, sometimes a challenge in, in, in negativity. You know, like the car battery is got a negative and positive. Well, yes. but in human, there's more negative than, than, than the power to make you spark. You know, you got to uh, like start yourself all the time. Or, yeah, or charge your battery up and, and, and lean on things to, to refill your strength. It's because the emotional tides, like the sea tide and, and the river, they, they, they always go up and down. And it's nice to get the rhythm of that mm. tide going down. Oh, yeah, well, I can fill it up again because the, the moon's coming up too, you know. And the fish runs and everything plays in the mm. night. Mm. And, 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 and you feel, and sometimes you feel really rich because you're in tune with nature. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and it's powerful. Okay? So when you're in tune with nature, you've got to sing. And, 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 the, and the songs, they give you strength to, to face um, your, your, your negatives, to understand your negatives, and rather than blame people about my feeling. When I was young, I blamed people for my feeling. And now I'm older, I don't need to blame those people for my feelings, because my feeling is my feeling. And that's how I, f I enjoy it. Like, oh, shh, oh, shh, oh. Okay, like so much. You're right, Could you talk about your feelings a bit? Or is that okay? Yeah. yeah, it's really okay. It's feelings are, are like jewels, mm. jewelry, yeah? Mm. Feelings. It's shiny, beautiful, mm. sometimes it's really beautiful one with a ruby, and sometimes it's nice and blue and spiritual. Sometimes it's green with envy. Mm. Yeah, so all the feelings have all these beautiful colors. And all around the world, the rainbow hangs the same way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And all around the world, it rains the same way, you know, so you get blessings um, mm. uh, and signs of hope in nature. And that makes me rich. And then I see countries clean and, you know, after the rain, when you think, oh, we can start again, you know, we can hopefully all clean everything up. And sometimes when you get to know it, you know, that the fish are poisoned, and then we're in big trouble because you can't eat what nature provides. And, and you're stuck like everybody else because you have to go to the shop, you know, and buy all your food and be like everybody else. Don't hunt or don't look after country. We hunt, we look after country. We, 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 we feed off the land and we look after it. We used to. Mm -hmm. But now it's, 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 it's so messy everywhere. With bureaucratic red tapes. So when you do things, you can't... Um, you can't... Just do it. Because you got all these politics and red tapes. One thing about Russia is that the red tape is outside and you know you can't do that, you can't, yeah? And there and people can look after their land and all that sort of thing. This country, the red tape is, 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 is invisible. And, and laws and laws of these people are, are all covered up in their pockets. So their law really comes what build their pocket. Not for the nature, to look after nature, that feeds the people their spiritual connections to the land mm. and, 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 and it get... Um, greed becomes the most powerful ancient feeling for a long time, greed, since man found gold or since man found brass. 
you know, or iron, mm. minerals and stuff, because you can melt the rocks. So the man could do that, make arrows and stuff, and it's good. The signs of progress and life of people, and it shows us what what we learn from each other, and. It's nice to have a warm house in the winter because I slept in the streets mm. for many years, yeah? I was slept beside the riverbanks and sleeping on the ground with no house. Can you tell more about this time? Why, why did this happen? <sighs> when I traveled, sometimes there was nowhere to go or didn't know or... Um, too lost and too broken. So you left your family? Yeah, I left my family for a lot of reasons I left my family. Um, things I've done got people upset. Um, films that I did in the 80s had got me into a lot of trouble with my f family and my clans and people, black people around there. Australia and people. I ended up a bit like Salman Rushdie, so uh, it was an exile uh, in my own country and I went and lived in Melbourne and when I lived in Melbourne I had f made friends and who taught me music. My acting came from Melbourne in the films in the 70s. And I've learned from people. And you just met these friends on the, on the street? Or how did you... Some great friends I met on the streets. Some great people. Some great spiritual people that I've met along the way. And one time I was drinking with all Arthur and he was from up Swan Hill country, I think, you know, in Victoria. Mm -hmm. And him and I were drinking wine in the, uh, we were what they call itinerant, we were uh, just getting drunk and had nowhere to go to sort of thing. And then one Sunday, he uh, um, I, he took the bottles off me. Uh, wine on a Sunday morning for breakfast and he said, you Tom, you like being chosen for something that, 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 that a lot of people don't have. I, I don't look for stardom or I don't look for things, I just do things, yeah. Hey, you need to be a famous star person, but I love acting and I love music. I love playing them and I enjoy it. And this old man told me, he said, there's a lot of people who would love to be in your shoes. And love, I said, old man, I'm drunk. Look, who want to be in these shoes, yeah? And you don't see yourself. You don't see what's given to you and, and what you're meant to really do. And as he's talking to me, the city of Melbourne went tick, 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 like that. And he said, you have to go. And, are you sure? I've got to leave you here by yourself? You have to leave me here. With these two bottles. Yep. And I looked at him. And then I left him and I walked into that space, Melbourne Crater. And as I turned back and I waved at him from down the street, Melbourne went dig, 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 and it just closed up again. See, and that's the last I've seen all Arthur. Mm. Yeah, so he sent me on this journey. And, and I had to learn to walk again in the cities and in, in the drunken world that I lived um, for a long time, learning. And, and there were good people in St. Kilda, a lot of great friends, French people, 
I met Rom Romanian. I worked with uh, Petrov. He was a great old actor. I'm glad I met him. He was. Um, we did a show at in, in one of the theaters in Melbourne, written by John Romerall, and um, so I've, I've, I've learned from theater again. And and theater has a great place for knowledge and a great place for history. And and in history, you learn to understand my paradigm. My river has two banks, and I'm swimming in the middle. So now I can go this side, and then I can go this side anytime I want. Sometimes I enjoy this side and I miss this side. I want to go back that side. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. but if you play on the river, it's the same thing. Sometimes I fish good on that side, yay, good, yeah. Mm. Or sometimes, oh, the fish is on that side, so I have to mm. paddle across. And go across to find, to eat fish, and 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 that's how I walk in the city sometimes. Oh, that street is good. Oh, maybe that side nicer. Mm -hmm. So everything is a replica upon replica upon replica of its what built. Mm -hmm. But beginning nature. In nature, and then we build around nature. 